Hey guys, this is Sheetal here and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to unbox this Occital smartphone and the model is U18. I've purchased this online for 10,000 rupees and this phone has a notch which is very similar to iPhone 10. So let's unbox it and check it out. So this is the box packing in which the phone comes. It's a simple plain white box. You can see the Octal branding over here and here at the bottom right is the model name U18. Now let's see the back side of the box. Here we can see some features of the phone. It has a display of 5.85 inch, runs on Android 7.0 and it supports all these sensors. There's nothing much written on the box so let's open it. We've got the phone here. Let me remove it from this cover. The phone looks good. I've bought the gold color one but it's also available in many other colors. Let's come back to it later and check out what else we've got in the box. There's a USB Type-C cable for charging and data transfer, a 5V 2A power adapter, a Type-C to 3.5mm headphone adapter, I guess the phone doesn't have a 3.5mm headphone jack, a warranty card and a user manual, make sure to read it once, and a SIM ejection tool. So these were all the items that we've got in the box. Now let's check out the phone. You can see some specifications over here at the top. It has a 5.85 inch HD plus IPS display, a 4GB RAM, 64GB ROM, a 4000mAh battery, it runs on Android 7.0 version, it's a 4G dual SIM smartphone and it also supports VOLT. And guys, this phone has an octa-core processor, not a quad-core. I guess it's a printing mistake over here. It also comes with a pre-installed screen card and phone case. That's really nice. Let me show you the case. It's a simple silicon case and the quality looks good. Okay, let me remove this sticker. This is how the phone looks from front. And this is the back side of the phone. Let me also remove the sticker. Let's talk about the phone's design. The design looks good. It has a two-tone design. The camera part has textured finish and the remaining part has a smooth finish. Here we can see the 13 megapixel camera, an earpiece and some sensors. It has a 5.85 inch IPS display with a notch. On the right side, we've got the power button, a volume rocker and the quality of the button is good. On the left side, we've got the hybrid SIM card slot. There's nothing on the top of the phone and at the bottom we've got the USB Type-C port, speaker and a microphone. Here at the back side of the phone we got the dual camera, one is 16 megapixel and the other is 5 megapixel camera and beside that you can see we have the dual tone LED flash. The fingerprint sensor is placed below the cameras and its position is quite comfortable. You can see the Occital branding over here at the bottom. From my initial impressions the phone is really heavy and it's quite thick. I guess it's because of the massive 4000mAh battery. Now I'm gonna turn it on and set up the phone, till then let's check out the specifications of it. Now let's check out the display. It has a notch at the top and it looks very similar to the iPhone 10 from front. I've said the fingerprint sensor is quite fast but not the fastest I've seen. It has a little bit delay as you can see. This phone also has a face unlock feature. It works well but it was struggling in low light condition. The display quality looks good. When we swipe it left from the home screen we get the Google now and the notification panel can be accessed only from the left or right corner of the screen but we cannot access it from the notch area. It has custom Occital launcher and the UI feels smooth. Now let's go to the settings. It looks very similar to the stock Android. In the display settings, you've got the adaptive brightness and nav bar settings. Now let's check out the about phone section. It runs on Android 7.0 Nougat. Here is the easter egg. And it has a security patch of January 2018. Let's see how much storage we've got on this phone. It's a 64GB model and out of the box we get 50GB of usable space and that's quite plenty of storage and if you want more, you can also add micro SD card. Now let's talk about the display quality. It has a 5.85 inch HD plus IPS display. The display quality is good, the colors are vibrant, the display is bright and is easily viewable even in bright light. The viewing angles are also good. While viewing photos or videos, the notch doesn't interfere with the media you are playing. You'll just get two black bars beside the notch. Let's play some music and check the speaker quality. The audio quality is nice. It's crisp and clear and there's very little distortion at maximum volume. 
I have installed Onto2 Benchmark and ran the test. I got a score of 42,920 which is average considering the price and in Geekbench I got a single core score of 611 and a multi core score of 1615. Here's the list of sensors in the phone. Let's play a game and see how it performs. I'm playing Asphalt 8 at max graphics. The gaming performance is good and was running very smoothly with minimum lag. But if you want to play any heavy games like PUBG, then I don't think it will play that smoothly. Let's check out the camera app. Here you have the front camera toggle, it also shoots photos in HDR mode and these are some other features. There are different modes like video, face beauty, blur, monochrome, panorama and pro. Now let's see how fast the shutter is. That's really fast. Let me show you some photo samples that I have shot on this camera. The photo quality was average for the price. It has Sony IMX135 sensor and shoots photos in 16 megapixel resolution. The details in the photos was good, the colors are vibrant, the dynamic range was good and the white balance was also perfect. But the portrait mode was not that good. It was just keeping the central area sharp and blurring out the remaining area. These are some other samples from the front camera. This is a video sample shot on this phone. The video quality is average and the focus kept on hunting. Now let's talk about the battery life. The battery life was good. I've watched videos on YouTube, played games and used social media apps and with this kind of usage I got a screen on time of 5 to 6 hours and a day to day and a half of battery life and charging this phone from 0 to max took about 3 to 3 and a half hours. So that was my unboxing and review of this Ocotel U18 smartphone. The build quality is good and the camera quality was average and if you are looking for the cheapest phone with the notch like iPhone 10, then you can go with this. But the only thing is it's a bit heavy and the price could be a bit lower. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. I'll see you in my next video.